What do you do when you feel pain? Today we are continuing in our look at Jesus' last days. And in particular this week, we're looking at his interaction with Mary and Martha and Lazarus, people that he loved very much while he was here on earth. So we're gonna pick up this story, continuing on from the past couple of days in John 11, verse 28. After she, she being Martha, had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews had been with Mary in the house comforting her, they noticed how quickly she got up and went out and they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him? But some of them said, could he, could he who opened the eyes of the blind man not? But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? It's a difficult story to read. And yet it's a comforting story to me, at least for many reasons. I think the most prominent reason is this, is when we feel pain, Jesus feels it too. So going back to my original question, what do you do when you feel pain? Do you run from it? Do you escape from it? Do you stuff it down? Or do you sit with it? Do you feel it? And in that feeling and sitting with it, do you invite Jesus to come and help you? All of us deal with pain and all of us deal with pain in different ways. And all of us deal with pain in different ways at different times, depending on the pain, depending on the moment, depending on where we are in our journey with Jesus, where we are in our journey with ourselves. And so pain, even though nobody wants pain, can actually be a very useful tool. Pain says, I'm hurting, I'm broken. Something's not right. Many things are not right. And I need answers and I wanna stop feeling this way. But oftentimes when we push pain away or when we run from pain or when we stuff it down and just ignore it, all that pain does is get worse. And it starts seeping out of us in different ways. But when we sit with pain, Here's what brings me comfort from this story. If we sit with pain, and if we're brave enough to share our pain with others, especially with God, then through the pain, we can find healing. When Mary sees Jesus and she falls at his feet and she is just overcome with grief and she says, Lord, if only you had been here, he would not have died. And Jesus looks around at not just Mary, but all the other members of the family and friends that have come to mourn. And he sees all that sadness and it affects him deeply. And then the shortest verse in the whole Bible says, Jesus wept. The fact that Jesus wept brings me great comfort, brings you great comfort. Because it means when we feel the pain, when we feel the sadness, when we feel the overwhelming grief of what it is, that is whatever it is that's going on in our lives, if we invite him in to that space, he feels that too. And here's the other thing about inviting Jesus into your pain. It means you're not alone in your pain. And that is a very powerful thing to know. I had a friend just recently come and share 
how she was going through some traumatic things through her counseling session, kind of reliving some things and, and basically feeling her pain. And for years, maybe had been denying the pain, but, but right now has decided to push through the pain. And after one particularly difficult session, she came and we prayed together. And I just simply asked God, you know, I said, like what we've been learning, come Holy Spirit, what do you want to say to my friend? And I believe God very carefully and quietly, but confidently said to me, I need you to tell her that I am with her and that she's not alone in this. In her journey through the pain towards healing, she doesn't walk this path alone. And that is the same for you and me. That in the midst of our pain, and I know some of you are in deep pain right now, may it comfort you to know that the God of the universe sees you but also feels your pain with you. And there is hope. And there is peace. And may you be comforted today knowing that his presence is with you. Let me take a moment to pray. God, I pray especially for those that are in deep pain. I pray, God, that they wouldn't deny it, they wouldn't run from it, they wouldn't stuff it, but they would feel it, they would experience it, that they would go through it towards healing. And that, God, that they would know, that they would know that you are with them, that they're not alone in this pain. Help us, God. Help us, God, to remember this whenever we feel pain. To call out to you and to remember that you feel what we feel and that you're right there with us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I don't know about for you, but for me, I'm going to need to remember to rewatch this devotional because when I'm in pain, I don't think clearly. And so the next time I am feeling great pain, I pray that I would remember to not stuff it, minimize it, run away from it, escape from it, but to feel it and to invite Jesus into that moment too, that we might go through it together. Love you guys. Have a great day.